What's going on YouTube? GS right here. So in today's video I'm going to show you how to fix the iOS 11.3.1 all the way down to iOS 11.2 Electra where the Cydia doesn't work or doesn't show up after the jailbreak is completed. So as you can see I'm jailbroken with the Electra. I did manage to get it to jailbreak my device after many attempts but for some reason Cydia doesn't show up anywhere. You can see there is absolutely no Cydia on the screen. And the problem is that UI cache doesn't run properly. And of course the fix is to pretty much run it manually via SSH and I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm jailbroken right now. You have to be jailbroken. The jailbreak has to succeed in order for you to be able to connect via SSH but in my case it did I just don't have Cydia so I'm going to switch to the computer and show you how to fix this thing in here okay so this is the uh, computer in here of course we need to start by installing a tunnel software that is available for both Windows and Mac for the Mac I'm going to use the iPhone tunnel for Mac and of course if you're on Windows you can use iPhone box and in there you go to the toolbox and you open the USB tunnel and it will give you further instructions on the port and of course the uh, address to which you have to connect. You're probably going to have to use PuTTY on Windows as well. But anyways, here on Mac I have to use the iPhone tunnel, the link will be in the description down below. And once you have it, if you have a Mac, you open the iPhone tunnel and create a connection. Now on Windows, again, you have to follow the uh, iPhone box's instructions. So once the tunnel is on, I'm going to go to Tools and SSH and it shows the uh, fact that I have to input the password, which of course is Alpine. A-L-P-I-N-E, so Alpine, Alpine, uh, sorry, Alpine, there we go. Now I'm going to run the uname a command to show you that it is indeed a device that is jailbroken with the Electra, so uname a, and you can see in here everything you want to know about the version of the kernel, and now the command that will fix the Cydia, but before we do that I'm going to open the uh, screencast in here so that you're able to see the device in real time to see exactly what's going on. So no Cydia in there, but I'm going to run UI cache, so UI cache, and once I press enter it will start and the command is now running, you can see the line blinking in here, and once it finishes it will show up Geosnow's iPod again, and at that point Cydia will be showing up in here on the screen. So we're waiting for it to do its thing in there, but anyways, once it runs we're going to see Cydia, and there we go, Cydia appeared on my screen. Now let's try to open it of course, so there we go. Now you can close the tunnel if you want, the connection, the SSH connection. Now you don't have to SSH in the way I did it, if you have a better method of SSHing to your phone you can of course use that, but this is my method and it's tried and true and works. Anyways, this is the um, Cydia, you can see iOS 11.3, yes I'm running the 11.3 beta, you can see that by the fact that if I do this and show the notifications, I'm going to be prompted to update. Yeah, as you can see here, so I'm running a beta. But anyways, it's iOS 11.3, this is an iPod uh, Touch 6th generation, and you can see Cydia pretty much working. I'm going to go in here and show you what's going on. Here are all the uh, packages that are installed. Oh, there is actually OpenSSH, so yeah, that's great. Anyways, this is everything that you need to have in here. These are the repositories, for example, the Electra repository, development or networking, and I can go ahead and install anything else I want, like curl, for example, so I can press can confirm and it will work. So yes, this is how you fix the uh, Cydia not showing up on the Electra jailbreak on iOS 11.3.x and iOS 11.2.x. This is the trick that will probably save your jailbreak if you have this kind of problems and I'm going to make more videos as more problems unfold with a jailbreak. I'm pretty sure that Coolstar will release a new version of the Electra that will fix the uh, UI cache not running automatically in the future, but for the moment this is a manual fix that will work. So return and as you can see it's now installed, I can uninstall it if I want. So yeah, this is pretty much it guys, thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, peace out.